Uh, what kind of man are you looking for, honey? Calm, dominant, respectful, financially secure, loyal, responsible, honest, kind, authentic, thoughtful, a good communicator, athletic, <laughs> health conscious, tall, <laughs> I'm not finished, <laughs> affectionate, emot emotionally available. He must be a gentleman, hygienic, has nice teeth, patient, dressed sophisticatedly, not skinny. Everybody got baggage. Some people's baggage got them. <laughs> That's you. Ella, where are you calling us from? I'm calling from Seattle, Washington. Seattle, Washington. How old are you? I'm 40. 40, you have any kids? I have two. Two kids. How old are your children? 23 and um, one will be 18 on Christmas. Okay, same man? No. No. Have you ever been married? Yes. Okay, when did you get divorced? September 15th. It was finalized. Oh, this year? Yes. You just got divorced like a month ago. I've been waiting to get on the show. You say gotta be single, so <laughs> hurry up and got that. Oh, you already ready, girl. You've been divorced for a month and said it's time for the next one. Time to, yes. Yes, ma'am. You don't have to answer, but do you want to share why you got divorced? Um, my, it was an abusive relationship and then he turned into a mess addict. And, um, I mean, it wasn't his, I don't believe that it was his fault that he turned into a mess addict. He was trying to, um, self-soothe, soothe, I guess, um, because our daughter died and he couldn't do. Because your daughter died? Yes. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear what happened to your daughter. She was run over by the electric company and then overdosed at the hospital. There's a lot going on here. Whoa. <laughs> mm. That's a meth head? I'm like, okay. A that's a meth head. A blogger doesn't want to say what she's talking about. Your daughter, I get where I'm. Jeez. I mean, lie. there's a lot. I'm not going to lie to you. That's just very understandable. What? Turning to substance abuse when you lose a child, like yeah, I get that it. might be the most relatable thing I could I could think of. I can understand. Yes, because I can assure you, even losing in parents, like or losing siblings, like if you turn to substance abuse, sometimes like it's not that crazy. I can understand. But I heard math. I'm like, that's weird. Then I heard the reason. I was like, oh, makes perfect sense. Uh, what kind of man are you looking for, honey? Okay, I got a long list. <laughs> you have a long list. A long okay. list. I wrote it down. Um, so it must be spiritual. Um. He needs to enjoy outdoor activities. Um, he must be calm, dominant, respectful, financially secure, loyal, responsible, honest, kind, authentic, thoughtful, a good communicator, athletic, <laughs> health conscious, tall, <laughs> I'm not finished, <laughs> affectionate, emot emotionally available. He must be a gentleman, hygienic, has nice teeth. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. The nice teeth kind of fucked me up because her ex was like, <laughs> <laughs> Must have nice teeth. Like, <laughs> now that you nah. said, <laughs> now that you said, it sounds like everything that she's saying is a job at her ex. You know what I mean? <laughs> Must have a job. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, <laughs> you ever seen those commercials? You ever seen those commercials? Robbing your mother of every possession she owns isn't normal. But our method is. <laughs> <laughs> and they got some nasty looking all this person's like <sighs> everything she's saying is, is like a jab to, to, to the ex. I mean, patient, dressed sophisticatedly, not skinny. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> sorry. Every time she makes this list long, I'm like, this is so unreasonable. And I just keep thinking, <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure. And you might be wondering, why did I do you know, <laughs> <laughs> That's just what I think of every meth head. You know, I just I feel like they. Hi, you got some change. I don't know why, I just, but, but it's, I think it's they accurate. sound like a bad Batman villain. Okay, <laughs> let's go. Let's... Oh, okay. Um, are all these non-negotiable requirements on your list? Um, majority of them are yes. What's negotiable? What's negotiable? Um, if he has facial hair, <laughs> which I didn't even say that. I do. I love facial hair. Um, so he has to be athletic. Yes, and so I, that's with age range too. So I like guys that are bigger. I, he can't be skinny. So skinny is definitely a non-negotiable. Like, math. So yeah, just like, that's for another reason. Math. That's what it's talking about. Do that again, do that again, do that again. Math. I can't. Give me your math. I'll suck your dick. Jesus Christ. Hey, listen, when you're on meth, you're like, yeah. It's meth, it's meth. That's not it's gay. Meth. It's it's survival. 
C'est con, mais c'est vrai. Yeah, do we? Now, what are your deal breakers? I'm assuming you wrote that down. I, I did. Okay, so one de deal breaker that I have is that I do not want to date a guy that um, treats women that he's newly dating based off of um, his previous relationships. So I've dated guys that are like, um, oh, I used to give, you know, girlfriends a, a credit card when they go out of town or something. And then you're like, you're going out of town with my credit card. And he's like, oh, I don't do that anymore because like the chick, the last chick kept my credit card when we broke up and she was like. This is a very specific answer. And you complaining because you can't use his credit card sounds like you might also do meth. That is not an example she pulled out of nowhere. I'm no, saying. that was very specific. That was super specific. That, is, that was super specific. I'm not okay with you telling me, you know, things that, you know, you do in the beginning of the relationship and then tell me, oh, you're not going to do that for me because it, it went poorly in, in the relationship previously. That's not okay. But isn't that why you don't want to fuck with skinny dudes? Because your ex is a meth head who's probably really skinny. Ain't you using your previous relationship to judge your standards for your future relationships? That's what I was about to say. Now, I'm going to keep watching. But I suspect that the pe reason people sent me this video is because she's got unreasonable standards or whatever. I'm not going to lie to you. Personally, I'm a little bit sympathetic. Mostly because this is somebody who's been married for a long time. Ended up losing her husband due to their child being killed. And they're all grieving and coming out of it. Now, you can say this woman's delusional, whatever it is. But, like, I don't know. You've been married for so long. You have a certain quality of life. Maybe you're not ready to start dating again at 40. This is not like some person who's like, I'm done with this. And I just want to be single because I could do better. It's like, yo, her situation f***ed up. It is. That's a f***ed up situation. And so part of me has a tremendous amount of, like, sympathy in that regards. Like, I'd probably be really fucked up too coming out. I'm not saying I would have crazy stands like this, but I'm like, I don't know. To me, it's just one of those things where, I mean, <laughs> me, I just... on, my, on, my, on my side, I understand. I understand where she come from and her situation is specific and very fucked up. Yeah, it is. But at the same time, I'm hearing her talk, and I'm like, I don't think you're ready to date. There's a lot of baggage that you didn't. De Everybody has baggages. Right? Everybody got baggage from past relationships. The problem is when you go home, you take those baggage and you unfold that shit and you put that shit either in your drawers or you go, you, you, you wash it. She has her luggages with her. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got baggage. Some people's baggage got them. <laughs> That's you. That's bars. Boo boo. That's bars. You're not a bag lady. You in the bag. You in the bag. And the bag just moving. You, you in the bag. You, you ever see one of them tumbleweeds in the desert? <laughs> Imagine a bag with a person inside. That's you. Uh, uh, <laughs> my God. The, just, Six foot tall. Gotta be. That, make that, it money. Give me credit but, card. But, like, but it's not. It's not. Like wrong, but song. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Six like, foot tall. <laughs> gotta give me credit. Credit card. Mama. But get it. Be t shirt. Gotta get it. Get it tall. <laughs> gotta be a big man. Yeah. Gotta hit it hard. Now I gotta touch a man. Give me my heart. No more mess. No more mess. Jumps. Don't want a boy with all this mess. Hey. Right. Right. I don't know what I'm doing. But, but that's pretty much it. Right. It's like right. you're not, you didn't deal with all that shit. That shit's right here. True. That shit is right here. So True. I don't think, I don't think you're ready to move on to something. True. There's a lot of work that hasn't been done. So everybody has got something, but you're, you're latching onto that. So anytime that person is going to do something that's, triggering your baggage or whatever you're gonna be like oh shit oh well i got a toothpaste and you're gonna open your baggage and open all that shit up to find the thing that triggered you and that made you nah B. um i don't want a liar i can't have a lazy guy um he has to be hygienic like i, I can't have him stinking um that sounds like man. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I can't do this. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know, I'm, <laughs> listen, to all our meth viewers, I respect you guys, okay? Meth viewers. The ones watching out of a cardboard box, sucking dick right now to get some. Like, what? You know, I support you. <laughs> Those are the sucky dick. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. shit, it's not been preached. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I, I'm not going to say that this guy has to be extremely exclusive to me, but I definitely have to feel like I'm, I'm the most important person in your life. So you're open to him having other women as long as you're the main girl? No, I need to feel like I'm the most important person in your life. So if you can accomplish seeing other people while still making it slow, I feel like I'm the most important person in your life, then yeah, how about it? Most important person as in the females he's dating or just overall? Most overall, important the most important person in your life. Over his, what if he has children? Yeah, I would prefer him not to have children. Uh, what's the age range you date? Did she not say that she had children? Yes. 
my girl. Now you have to understand one thing. Okay. You have to understand that in your position, you have less and less chances and your chances are getting very narrow. Okay. You you're being picky right now. You have less and less chances. What I'm trying to say is that if someone has AIDS, okay, they can't really act like they're a snack. Your chances of someone wanting to put up with this is going to be very narrow. You being all that difficult about this shit, you're not a snack. You're food poisoning, essentially. Well, that's what I'm saying. So you have to understand that people are not necessarily going to treat you like the snack that you think you are. You're a bit going too far. Now, you got kids, but you prefer... My girl. My girl. More important than other... Than their kids. Pupu, you lost your marriage because you lost your child. Maybe that was the thing. He was not moving on and she wanted him to move on because she had to be the more important. I don't know. Speculations. We don't know. No, but I'm... that's messed up. You got kids and you lost one and you want that person to be... That's just... I think Preach nailed it. <laughs> I am personally... Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. I think when somebody goes through something super traumatic like that and it's fairly recent or whatever... I don't know. It's just one of those things where I'm like, I think they're rational behavior afterwards. It's not that I think you can condone everything or whatever, but it makes it a bit more understandable. Yeah. And then your husband turns into a meth addict. Like that's, that's you're, you're not, you're grieving the dead child. You're grieving the living person. That's a lot of grief there. And so I think that part needs to be dead. but you could also acknowledge and say her standards are crazy. And that's just nonsense talk, but it's hard to tell if that's just the individual underneath it all, or just, a trauma response to whatever the fuck has happened mm. in her life, which is pretty, pretty, pretty extreme. So that's probably my thoughts. Anything else? No, no.